What's up guys and welcome to another video in Wild Kinetics. My name is Elam and today I'm going to be showing you um, this gear chain right here that I've made already but in the opposite direction instead of making this uh, end gear spin faster I'm gonna make this end gear spin slower uh, which is basically gear reduction. If you haven't already don't forget to drop a massive like on this video subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already and comment down below what you thought of the video and if you guys have any other uh, video ideas for me to do I'm welcome to just about any idea that you guys uh, throw at me. Without further ado let's get started. So this is the gear train I have here. Um, Somewhere around here, I'm probably going to put a video of the original video of me actually like making these gears spin uh, really fast. And then like if you want to build this type of gear train, uh, I think I pretty much go through basically how you build this. But what happens here is that I have this gear ratio set right here. So when this gear turns, it turns this little gear faster, which then in turn turns this gear the same speed as this one. And then it just keeps going down the line um, all the way to the last one that spins really fast as you can tell see I'm, I haven't even moved this one full revolution this thing's already spinning almost 100 revolutions uh, per minute right but the thing is this is not very powerful you see as I'm turning it and it, I barely touched it and it already stopped it doesn't have much power it just has speed not power so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do the opposite we're gonna do gear reduction which is we're gonna take our power gear right here and put it here on this side and then this gear is gonna spin really slowly so that's what I'm gonna do now Again, if I turn this gear, it'll turn these other gears really, really fast. But if I turn this gear, as you can tell, it'll barely move. I have to turn this multiple times, hundreds of times almost, to get this thing to do an entire uh, revolution. So now if I turn this though, <clears throat> see I've been turning this one, two, three, four, five times. And this thing is pretty powerful. That's kind of hard to actually prevent it from turning, like it's forcing me to turn right here. So. What I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna put attach it like a winch <clears throat> to prove to you guys it's powerful. I'm gonna put something right here attached like a rope here, and then it's gonna as I turn this, the rope is gonna move upwards, and then it's gonna pull an object upwards um, or to it. Actually, as a matter of fact, um, to show you how powerful it is, it'll probably be maybe 10, 15 pounds. I probably use a, a dumbbell for this, which is what I'm gonna do, and then you're gonna see how this thing actually works and why gear reduction is useful. Although this thing does not spin fast at all, it is very powerful. I'm also going to attach a motor. This motor is not very powerful and it's very slow too. So it turns like this. But look, I, I'm sorry, it is very powerful. It is very powerful. I'm having a hard time trying to keep this in place right here. So I'm going to attach this motor right here. I'm going to attach it right here and then I'm going to start turning it. So let me just demonstrate that to you guys real quick. <clears throat> The motor has been attached, and then now I turn it on. This this uh, wheel is barely turning because this thing is turning so slow, uh, but it's gonna have a lot of power to it. So like I said before, I'm gonna put a string here, attach a weight to it, and it's gonna pull up the weight. I'm just gonna try and see what the max uh, load is, uh, starting from just ground one. I'm gonna basically be lifting up a water bottle, just a simple 500 milliliter water bottle. It probably weighs around a pound. I'd be I wouldn't be surprised if it weighs less than that. So we're gonna see if it can lift it up. Now that the, we proved that the water bar works, uh, let's just step it up a little bit. I'm gonna use the same dumbbell, but I've taken off two plates on each side. Uh, probably weighs between uh, five to eight pounds or so. So we're gonna see if it's able to lift it up uh, that much weight. All right, the dumbbell system has been set up right here. As you can tell, I basically uh, tied it right here. Um, so it should dangle down uh, from the 
side of the table like this. We're gonna first test out to see if it will actually support the dumbbell. So I'm letting go now. I'm not supporting it at all. Sure, it's scraping a little bit against the table. I can move this forward just a tad bit, but then it's gonna be a little bit unstable here, as you can tell. So I'm just gonna move this book a little bit forward and probably place some more weight on the textbook to make sure that it stays in place. There we go, now it's all set. It's time to start lifting. Still looks like up close, um, there was minor bending, almost like it was before, but there is no uh, major skipping going on right now. All the gears seem to be flowing well. The system seems to be moving slowly, smoothly, um, but there is just a little bit, not too much skipping. Really, it's just, it, it's kind of stuttering, like I said before. And this is the dumbbell right here. So yeah, that's what it looks like so far. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and certainly don't forget to check out all my other videos especially the other one that i did about making gears spin really fast drop a massive like on this video subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already and comment down below on what you thought of the video and if you guys have any more video ideas i appreciate you guys for all your support and as always thank you for watching